She was just going down the street, a quick walk to the bus stop. She was only out of her apartment for, you know, maybe a minute or, or even less. In broad daylight, on a public street, in a neighborhood, basically a public execution. A random attack? Those are the types of murders that really, you know, scare people, <laughs> scare them to death. Or was it an assassination? It's fury, it's revenge. Why did this hardworking mother of one have to die? It is uh, almost like something you would see in a TV script. A piece of cake, a pair of boots, a woman's handbag in the middle of the road. Artifacts marking the spot where 49-year-old Preeti Gaba lost her life. But who was she and why the violent end? Her name was uh, Preeta Gaba. She was an immigrant from India. A very sort of uh, well-liked, um, hardworking uh, immigrant. Her big goal in life was for her son, Lim, to go farther than she went. He was her only son and she his only parent. At what point did your dad pass away? He passed away, it was when I was around, I would say, maybe 14 or 15. What happened? No, he just had a liver disease and it was because of too much drinking. After that, it was just Lim and his mom struggling to make ends meet in India. It was uh, hard for her. She used to work all the time. And we were living alone. This was me and my mother. And she wanted to make a better life for you. Yes. Then suddenly, it seemed like that better life might be within reach. Prita met a new man, a successful man. He was a biostatistician. Um, he made great money, and um, he had a PhD in biostatistics. His name was Baldeo Tanasia, and after the death of Preta's first husband, the father of two seemed to provide some much needed stability. Baldeo and Preta married soon after the meeting. Was he like a father to you? Yes, that's how I looked at him. A good father, a stable provider, and the promise of a truly new beginning. Baldeo was already sort of halfway in the United States. He was going back and forth. He had a business here. So he moves to the U.S. And Preeta and Lim stayed in India. Uh, their, their goal was to, to follow him to the U.S. and start a new life there. But for Preeta and Lim, it would be a dream delayed. Baldeo would spend the next three years getting settled with his sons before calling for his bride. During that time, is he keeping in contact with your mom? Yes, they would talk all the time. But then, Lim says that during one summer trip to the States, before he moved here officially, he visited Baldeo at home and found his mom's spot occupied by another woman. She was living in the same house. As him? Yes. Her name was Ruminder Kaur, and as soon as Lim got back to India, he told his mom. Then, not long after that, Lim says Preeta finally made the move from India into her cheating husband's home, and one of the first things she did in the States? She says, we're done. We're getting a divorce. Yes. Does he let her go willingly? No. Things became extremely tumultuous. They began divorce proceedings, and, and during those proceedings, he um, engaged in, in the strangest behavior, doing things like he put up a dry wall in the apartment so that she could only access certain areas that he wanted her to access. How big is this wall? It basically covers the whole door to enter the second bedroom. But no wall could block out the consequences of Baldeo's infidelity. Once the divorce finalized, a judge orders him to pay Preta alimony. How much money was she receiving? She was getting 2200 each month. And he wasn't happy about that? No, he wasn't. There were several emails back and forth that were uh, showed the hostility between the two of them. And um, he once wrote an email to her that was pretty much said, you do not deserve to be a parasite on me for financial support. Not that he couldn't afford his payments. I would say he was making maybe 100 plus K a year. He definitely had the funds to support your mother. Yes. But Preta stood strong for Lim, for herself. Soon, she and Lim moved to a new apartment in Germantown, Maryland, and it seemed Baldeo had moved on as well. Baldeo and uh, his new uh, girlfriend who became wife, they moved to Nashville, Tennessee. 
A new life for all involved, but how long would it last? 7.45 a.m. a Saturday morning, a day off for most, but not for Prita or her son. So that morning I was supposed to go to work and she was leaving for work too, but she had to leave earlier. She packs herself a lunch, then says her goodbyes to Lim. So I got into the shower. Next thing and I come out of the shower, I get dressed and I hear somebody knocking on the door. It was the police. The news was grim. And they asked me, do you hear any gunshots? And I, I respond, no, and then they'll tell me, have a seat. And that's when they show me my mother's license, and they're like, you know this woman. Just a few hundred feet away from their apartment, Preeta Gaba lay dying in the street. She walked out the door and was about to cross the street and then head to the bus stop. And it was right when she was about to cross the street that someone approached her and shot her three times. This is basically right outside where you live. live yes. We walk out and all I see is her stuff on the street, in the middle of the street, her bag, umbrella. And next thing, then I get, get in an officer's car and he takes me to the hospital. Once there, Lim receives the most crushing news of his life. His loving mother doesn't make it. I knew that it's just me now. I had to be on my own. No family, nobody. But who did it, and why Prita? So this is a, an absolutely wonderful woman who, who, who didn't appear to have any enemies in, in the world. This was not somebody who was involved in any kind of nefarious criminal activity, so you'd have some type of explanation for why someone would, would do this to her. Detectives talk to Lim, and right away he tells them about the contentious divorce between his mom and Baldeo, as well as some still unpaid alimony. He owed her like $10,000. He didn't make payments for a few months. And but I still remember that when I was talking to the detective, he said that owing, owing somebody $10,000 is a good reason to kill somebody. But then Baldeo was living 600 miles away in Nashville. And not only that. The eyewitnesses on the scene described the shooter as what? As a woman. Coming up. One woman falls and the other woman takes off. The investigation begins and. The surveillance video that changes everything. We called them the Mrs. and the Mr. Gun. You lost your dad and you lost your mom and you are here in America by yourself. Yes, I had to be on my own.